Today in this video, I'm going to show you how we can create a MCP server from scratch entirely using AI. Yes, you heard it correct. You can now build highly complex MCP servers without writing a single line of code. And no, you don't need any coding knowledge. And in this video, I will walk you through the entire process step by step. And by the end of this video, you will have your first ever MCP server ready. And once you create it, you can then go ahead and use the MCP server with any MCP client like Cloud Desktop or Cursor and it should work. So let's quickly get started. All right. So this right here is databutton.com and this is the AI tool or the platform that we will use to create our MCP server today. And yes, this is the exact same platform that we have used to create highly scalable and full stack web applications in the past. You can click the I button above or link in description below. So first thing first, head over to databutton.com using the first link in the description below and sign up for a new account and log into the same. All right, so there you go. I'm now logged into my data button dashboard. And for starters, if you don't know much about MCP or model context protocol, and if you want to learn more about it, you can visit the second link in the description below. That is modelcontextprotocol.io, which happens to be the official website. And you can find, read and find more information about MCP, the MCP host, server, client, and all that. In which ways, heading back to data button, the flow of creating a MCP server is almost similar as creating a web app using the platform. You go ahead and sign into your account and you will find a button that says new app. So I'll go ahead and click on that one. And again, you just need to describe exactly what you want to build, what exactly is the kind of service that you're building and all that in here. And before that, here we have an in-depth guide as to how you can create a MCP server using data button, which again, I'll link in the description below. And if you want to, you can actually go ahead and read through the document. You can go ahead and find the implementation steps, adding your MCP into cloud desktop, troubleshooting steps and all that can be found in here. Any which ways, heading back to data button, let's say I'm trying to create a MCP server that gives me live access to the real time currency data, or let's say a currency conversion MCP server, where I could go ahead and specify a from and to currency. And I want to get the real time exchange data for that particular pair of currency. So that is basically what I'm trying to build. So let's quickly go ahead and build that. So I'll go ahead and say a currency converter website where users can convert currencies and get real time data. So this is the initial prompt I'll give. So it says a currency converter website where users can create currencies and get real time data and we'll click on continue. So this is just like the beginning process. And next up, I plan to use a API. So in order to get the currency data, the real time currency data, obviously you will need to rely on an API. And for that one, I'm actually using a API called as uh, exchange rates API.io. So first thing that I'll do is we'll go ahead and open the documentation page and I'll copy this entire thing. Okay. I went ahead and copied this entire uh, documentation content, including the code snippets. I just copied it and created a .txt file. And now I have that .txt file and all I'll do is I'll go ahead and drag and drop that file in here. So here I have that file. So I'll go ahead and drag and drop it. And this is basically a simple uh, .txt file that contains all the information about the API copied from the documentation page right here. And that is all that I need to do. So here I have added that file and I'll click on continue. And now data button is asking me to share design inspiration, but to keep things simple, I'll click on skip. And again, I don't want any integrations. So as you might already know, you can actually create a full stack application using data button with all the complex stuff, like authentication databases, bucket storage payments and all that. So if you're trying to build an application as such, or let's say you want to add any of that. Uh, to the application that you're currently developing, you can actually go ahead and enable it from here. For example, let's say you can add Firebase auth or Superbase auth for authentication. Again, the same for database, payments using Stripe and Lemon Squeezy, and storage using GCP, AWS S3, Superbase storage, and Firebase storage. But for now, I'll continue without integrations. And now the whole point here is that I want to demonstrate how you can create a MCP server using data button and how simple it is. Along the way, you can also go ahead and create a full fledged app with the same thing as well. But the thing is, you can actually go ahead and turn pretty much any API endpoint within your app developed using data button into a fully fledged MCP server. So obviously, if you are, let's say, developing a full stack app, you will have some kind of API routes, right? Now, how cool will it be if you could go ahead and turn those API routes into an MCP server, like a full fledged MCP server compatible with all uh, MCP clients like let's say Cloud Desktop or even Cursor AI with the press of a button. That's the new feature in data button for you. So here it has proposed some plans to build our application. So it says create a modern landing page with currency converter preview. So if your intention is to just create a MCP server, you don't need to do all these steps right here. Okay. 
And now in order to create a MCP server that allows us to convert between currencies, the only task that you will have to do is the second one right here that says implement core currency conversion functionality with the exchange rights API. So if you go ahead and run this task and click on this enable MCP option, you will have your MCP ready. But before that, let me quickly go ahead and create a landing page first. All right, so it seems like our landing page is now ready. So if I click on this preview button right here, oh, there you have it. So here we have a cool looking landing page with a widget to convert uh, between currencies. Now you don't really have to do this. Okay. So if you don't want to, you don't even have to develop a landing page, but just as to keep things simple or maybe interesting, I have developed a, you know, a landing page. And now it is asking me if you would like to, let's say deploy the app. So I'll go ahead and click on this deploy app option and let's wait. So the deployment part is now complete. And here comes the important part. If I move over to the plan section right here, and our core intention is to create a MCP server that allows people to convert between currencies. And now this landing page, this thing is not needed. So I'll go ahead and mark it as done. And in order to create a MCP server that facilitates user to convert currency from one currency to the other, all we need is this particular uh, task right here. So it says implement core currency conversion functionality with exchange rates API. So I'll go ahead and click on the start task option. So basically what happens is that if you have a API endpoint within your app developed using data button and you can go ahead and turn it into a fully functional MCP server by exposing it. And the cool thing is that data button will take care of all that, like exposing it, making the thing functional and also hosting the same. So you don't have to do anything. And now we have asked the AI to implement the core currency conversion functionality. And here it is asking me to enter the API. So obviously if you want to use uh, this exchange weights API, I will need a uh, API key, right? So I went ahead and created a free account and here I have it. I'll go ahead and copy this API key, head back to data button and paste it in here. And now the thing is data button is referring to this documentation that we shared earlier and is trying to implement all these features. So we'll wait till it is done. All right. So seems like data button is done implementing the API functionality. And the cool thing is that actually data button has went ahead and tested the API itself and made sure everything is working as it is. And if I go to, so the API usage for now is at 16. And if I refresh, okay, let me see. It is updated to 17. So data button actually went ahead and tested the API and made sure everything is working exactly like the way it should. And now here comes the most important part and that is turning this API endpoint into a fully functional MCP server. And to do that, all you gotta do is to click on this enable MCP button towards the top right and we can go ahead and configure our MCP server. But before that, there is a best practice that data button is suggesting us to do. And that is to provide MCP client with more context about the tools you make. We recommend telling the data button agent to add Python docs to your endpoint. This will be included as part of the tool and thus instructions to your agent on how to use the tool. Okay. So we'll quickly go ahead and do that as well. So our MCP client will have a good time understanding what exactly the MCP server is about and also how to use the same. So I'll go ahead and ask, can you please add Python docs to our API and point for converting currency as I want to create a MCP server out of it and want to provide context to MCP clients. Okay. So this is like a basic simple prompt and I'll go ahead and hit enter and let's wait. All right, so everything is done. And now comes the most important part and that is creating the MCP server. And doing so is pretty simple. I'll go ahead and click on this enable MCP button towards the top right. And now I'll go ahead and click on enable MCP. Now it says generating and it will take a couple of seconds. So I'll wait till it is done. And here you can find details as to how you can implement or let's say use this MCP server that you've created with a MCP client like Cloud Desktop, Cursor, OpenAI, Agent SDK, Agno SDK and all that. And now I'll quickly go ahead and demonstrate how you can use it on cloud desktop. Okay. So for that, you need to copy this code snippet from here. Okay. I'll go ahead and copy that. And next up, you need to open cloud desktop. So let me quickly go ahead and open cloud desktop first. So here I have opened up cloud desktop. And the next thing that I got to do is to go ahead and open cloud desktop settings just like that. And you will find a window, something like this, and then click on this developer option right here. And here you will find a edit config button. And now all you gotta do is to click on that one. And it should now open up a folder like this where you can find cloud desktop config.json file. Okay. And now all you gotta do is to open it up in a code editor. 
So here I have opened up the JSON file right here. And now I'll head back to data button and copy this code snippet right here. Open the JSON file and replace the entire content just like that. And now you need to add your API key. I'll go ahead and copy this API key. Open the JSON file and paste it in here. So just like that. And once you have it in this format, I can go ahead and save it. And now if this is the first time, if you have never set up a MCP server in Cloud, when you open this up for the first time, you won't find anything. So you can directly go ahead and paste this in here. And now if you already have some other MCP servers configured already, you can simply go ahead and add this part right here and you should be good to go. And now that I have saved the file, I'll close this one. So once you configure your MCP server, the next important step that you need to do is to deploy your app. So go to this deploy option right here and click on the deploy app option and make sure your app is redeployed. And then you can now go ahead and open cloud and hopefully the MCP server that we created should work. Cloud desktop is now opened up and here I can find all the MCP servers. So it says available MCP tools and here we have available currencies, check health, convert currency, uh, latest rates, refresh rates and all that option. So that means our MCP or the MCP server that we created is actually working. So I can go ahead and let's say send a message asking to let's say convert 5 USD to let's say CAD and now I can click on the send button and this is all I got to do. Now the MCP client will automatically use the uh, MCP server that we created and for the first time when you run it, it will ask uh, or show this pop up right here and I'll click on this allow for this chat option and now the AI will do all of its magic. Let's see. Okay. So based on the current exchange rate, 5 USD is 7.16 CAD and now our MCP server is working and now if you want to find any other details you could literally go ahead and ask the AI for example let's just go ahead and say convert let's say this many uh, INR to let's say USD and CAD maybe let's see how it works I'll click on send and let's see all right so it says I'll convert this many INR to USD and CAD. So it is actually running it two times. So actually Cloud run the function twice and we have the answer in here. That is 117052 USD and 167665 CAD, right? So our MCP server is now fully working. All right, so as you saw, this is how simple it is to create a MCP server using data button, completely using AI. And you can also go ahead and set it up on Cloud Desktop just by copying and pasting a JSON config file and you're pretty much sorted. And next up, we also have a couple more tools in here. For example, available currencies, okay. Convert the currency latest weight. What is the rate of USD? I'll click on allow this chat. Okay, so there you go. I went ahead and asked what is the rate of USD and here we have 1 USD is equal to 1.4 CAD, 0 0.7 British Pound, then we have Euro, Japanese Yen, Chinese Yuan and Indian Rupee. As easy as that. Alright, so next up I went ahead and created yet another MCP server using data button and this time around I asked the AI to create a simple MCP server that will return some dummy data about different people like the name, age, email, phone number and that kind of data. And now the AI went ahead and created or let's say proposed this plan and I only ran this particular task that is to create basic API endpoint that returns dummy person data. I did not create a landing page uh, not the UI or anything as such. I simply created that API endpoint and then I asked the AI to include all the documentation stuff into the API and that's pretty much all I did. No landing page, no UI, nothing as such, just the API endpoint. And next up, I clicked on this option and configured the MCP server. So let's see if it works. I'll go ahead and click on this generate key option and let's wait. All right, so that part is now done. I'll go ahead and copy the snippet. Open the config dot, that is cloud desktop config JSON file. I'll paste it in here and I'll save it. Save the file, click on close. And now I also need to go ahead and redeploy the app. So I'll click on deploy and click on deploy app option and let's wait. The redeployment is now complete. And if I go ahead and open cloud desktop now, I should be able to find the dummy data MCP server and use the same. So here it says I have two MCP tools available. I'll click on that one. All right, check health and get person. And now if I go ahead and ask the AI to return, let's say five dummy data, it should give me. So I can go ahead and say, give me dummy data of five people 
and I can hit enter and that should be it. Now Cloud Desktop will use the MCP server that we set up. I'll click on allow for this chat and use it and fetch the details of five people including their name, age, phone number, email and all that kind of data and show it on the screen. As you can see it is working. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. There you go. Look at that. So Jordan Johns, Riley Anderson, Jennifer, Christopher, Anthony. Okay. We have all of that. See, as easy as that. I went ahead and created a simple API endpoint within the project and I exposed and configured the MCP server, copied this uh, code snippet, pasted it into Cloud Desktop and that's it. I now have a fully working MCP server and this is how simple it is to create a MCP server using AI completely right within data button. And if you want to, you can then go ahead and build all these UI parts and all that and create a fully functional website. So if you want to, you can do that. Or let's say if you have already created a website or let's say a project within data button and if you want to turn any of your API endpoints into an MCP server, you can do that as well. After you set up your MCP server and when you restart cloud, if you find errors like this, it is mostly because you don't have UV installed on your computer. And to fix it, all you gotta do is to run this particular command right here that says brew install UV. And after UV is installed, you can restart cloud and everything should work. And if you don't already have brew installed, you can head over to this website right here that is brew.sh and follow the on-screen instructions to install brew first and then install UV and this error message should go away. So that's for that. So as you saw, this is how simple it is to create a fully custom built MCP server using AI. And no, you don't need to know anything about coding and you don't have to write a single line of code yet you can create highly complex MCP servers using data button. So all you gotta do is to click the first link in the description below, head over to data button, create an API endpoint, configure your MCP server, then you can just go ahead and use it with any client like Cloud Desktop, Cursor or whatever platform. Okay, so it is as easy as that. I hope you guys found this video useful. If yes, make sure to subscribe and I will see you in the next one.